More on the, the uh, story from the Vatican. We're joined by Ottawa Archbishop Terence Prendergast. Good morning, Archbishop. Thanks for joining us this morning. You're most welcome, Kurt. Uh, give me your first uh, reaction to the events of yesterday, if you would. Well, I was with a group of Jesuits uh, from my own community, and we were kind of stunned when we heard the name. Uh, we didn't expect this man to be a candidate. Uh, I guess you always can be surprised with what the Holy Spirit does uh, in a group of cardinals. So we were just um, silent, and then we said, oh, isn't that amazing? What a name. Francis, what's that going to mean? Mm -hmm. Presumably it has something to do with his desire to be like Francis, to live in simplicity, but also to take up Francis's challenge to rebuild the church. You think it's uh, a name that suits uh, a pope of, of his stature? Well, <laughs> I guess we'll learn that. Uh, every pope has a, puts his own mark on things, and this man seems to have done that from the very beginning, choosing a name that had been never used before. Right. He's also been very active uh, from the outset uh, in, in making some decisions, and. Uh, and uh, beginning his work. What do you expect uh, from this man and what you know of him? Well, I think one of the major tasks he's going to have is uh, to assist uh, the management of the Vatican bureaucracy. The Curia seems to have uh, experienced quite a number of difficulties in past uh, years. And I think the idea is that uh, somebody from outside can perhaps give a new direction to the way the management is run, perhaps taking new decisions on on who should be in charge of various areas. Mm -hmm. Then I think it will be the witness of his own personal life. Uh, I think the very fact that he asked the people last night to pray over him before he blessed them, I think that's a very striking gesture, a very simpl uh, simplicity to gesture, and I think that's the kind of thing we can expect from him. Is there a significance in the fact, Archbishop, that he is the uh, first pope from the Americas? Yes, I, I, I think clearly uh, the Americas uh, have 40% uh, of uh, Catholics around the world, so I think the idea of going outside the Vatican and, and Europe and then going to uh, the Americas is probably a very significant step. And, uh, uh, you know, Latin America, uh, Latin Americans, that is, uh, make up, what is it, 55 million Catholics of the 1.2 billion around the world, so that in itself is significant. Very significant. Yeah. What will it mean for, you know, uh, South America and North America now that a pope has uh, been chosen that isn't from Europe? Well, um, I, I think the, the gifts of the Latin American church, the enthusiasm, the joy, the spontaneity, also dealing with the issue of poverty, I think all of those things will come to the fore. Mm -hmm. um, how that will play out is, is, is going to be hard to see. Uh, uh, I was thinking of that myself last night. I was being driven in by a young man who's my, my, my chauffeur. This man takes the bus when he goes to the airport or when he goes to, around Buenos Aires. Right. Uh, is that kind of simplicity something that's translatable in every person's life, in every bishop's life, uh, in every Christian's life? I think uh, he's going to be, by his very person, somebody who challenges us. Right. At 76 years of age, a lot of analysts were saying maybe that's a little older than they had expected. Um, in the end, age is just a number, let's face it. Is he able, uh, as an older man, to reach out to younger people? And, and that's one of the, the, the most important items, I think, on the list that Catholics might have uh, for the new pope to accomplish. Well, uh, that's going to be seen. I, I, I think the young people are able to... Uh, to get beyond age. Uh, one of the things I've uh, seen in our young people here in Ottawa is that they're quite enthusiastic about the Pope when they practice their faith. Um, maybe the big question is to find out how we can attract young people who are not practicing their faith or for whom the faith seems not to have much meaning. Right. Uh, but certainly uh, I expect a large number of young people to come down for the Mass today at uh, Notre Dame uh, Basilica. Quite a few people have already told me they're coming, so I'm looking forward to that. Now, uh, that special Mass is at 12.15 today, That's as right. I understand? Yes, and there'll be a, a special Mass of Thanksgiving for the whole diocese next Tuesday, a Feast of St. Joseph, the very day that he's going to begin his ministry in Rome. Right, officially, that is uh, uh, that That'll is be the at 5.15, that one. Yeah. Uh, Archbishop, thank you so much for your insight and your thoughts and for joining us today. We, uh, we really appreciate it. Most welcome, Kurt. That's uh, Ottawa Archbishop uh, Terence Prendergast joining us live this morning. Again, a 